Diesel Bad Re-Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little review on this Diesel Bad. Technically, it's kind of like a re-review. Diesel has always been a fragrance company that I actually really, really like, but actually a lot of people don't really like. Diesel is probably one of the least hyped fragrance companies out there, except for maybe only the Brave. The other ones, they really have as fuel for life and bad, and most of the time people really, really don't like those for some reason, but I actually really liked fuel for life when I first smelled it in 2009. Since then, there has been a lot of fragrances that come out that are probably, I would say, I might like a little bit more than that, but I really did like fuel for life back in the day diesel seems to make these kind of like masculine a little bit dirty a little bit sexy fragrances generally towards the younger crowd like almost all the times i smell the fragrances it's kind of like in that invictus one million style realm with a little bit more of a dirty quality and it seems like they try to do more unique stuff or more unique fragrance than something like invictus or one million but at the same time they go even farther away from normal fragrances which i think some people don't like we got a lot of notes here let's ramble them off lavender bergamot cardamom, violet leaf, caviar, orris root, sage, woody notes, tobacco, tonka bean, ambroxan, and patchouli. There's really not very many prominent notes that you've smelled before that's going to be actually in the cons, but there really isn't too many fragrance notes. You got Invictus with that really noticeable mandarin orange. You got something like One Million with that really distinct cinnamon note, things that you have smelled before. This fragrance really does not smell very conventional. Personally, I get a tiny bit of burger them out on the top. I've never really smelled caviar. I've never really ate caviar, but although it is very synthetic, I do see a little bit where the caviar is coming from. I do smell a little bit of the sage. I smell the woody notes, a hair of tobacco, and a hair of ambroxan. But again, these are just little bits of nuances. This fragrance really doesn't smell overly like one of these notes for me personally. What this kind of reminds me of personally is Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce mixed with a little bit of like some, something closer to CH Men Privé. And again, it's not 100% like half Fierce, half CH Men Privé. It's almost got some solid elements of Fierce. In my opinion, what makes this smell like Fierce is the combination of the sage and ambroxan. New versions of Fierce, I think, feature a lot of sage, and the sage actually kind of recreates the classic smell a little bit, which is crazy because I don't think the original had sage, but the sage and ambroxan combo give it this, this transparency, and Fierce has the ISOE Super. For me, I find ambroxan and ISOE Super to be kind of in the same realm. They kind of have this hormonal, sexy quality that's used to spice up fragrances, so I do smell that. And then what I think of what would smell like CH Men Privé is probably a little bit of the tobacco, Tom could be and a little bit of the woody notes. It is a little bit of a darker smell, but again, it's not 100% like those. And I probably would prefer the classic Fierce CH Men probably to this one, just because I, those are some of my favorite fragrances of all time. This one is very nice. I think I wore this for about five or six days testing it, maybe seven. Surprised that I didn't um, spray it all. I think it's like a one ounce. And I actually sprayed up quite a bit of this and it's still like well over halfway. So really, really enjoyed this stuff, guys, for what it does. I'll get more into the cons coming up soon. I know there is some cons and I know people don't like it. Let's start off with the pros, what I really like about this. It's different, it's daring, and it has a good presentation. I really like the presentation of this, guys. I like the see-through bit of it. I like all the ad campaigns. I like the feel of it. I've never really had a fragrance that has this exact kind of feel. I just really like the presentation. I really do like they're trying to do something different and way out there. Whether or not you actually really like it depends on the person a little bit, but I do really appreciate what they try to do. They try to give us something that's not super safe and super normal something like why is so why just super safe all these other ones are super super safe and likable and it's great because it's going to be likable i get it but i really want you to try to do a new fragrance i really really appreciate that In my opinion it's a very good smell and good compliments for the right situation i would say maybe about a third of the situations this is very 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 good but again, there's a lot of people in a lot of situations that this is not for. I could see this being like an everyday scent of somebody who's in there like 20, 25, maybe getting up closer to 30. This isn't really something that's overly super clean that you would wear like dressed up with a suit and tie. I just don't see it. It's got a little more casualness to it. Also, in my opinion, I could see somebody wearing this for work, but again, a certain personality who would wear this every day, uh, but generally not for work or anything like that. Let's go into the cons. The cons is that I have only really 
really like too is that it's very very synthetic now there's a lot of fragrances that are very synthetic but even compared to like i would say this is kind of in that invictus and one million style smell and again those fragrances have some notes that you have smelled before so it has some familiarity and i feel like it doesn't smell as synthetic because you can actually smell those real notes in there this one really doesn't smell like anything in nature most of these notes don't really come through so it does come off pretty synthetic i see that certain people are really just not gonna like this fragrance i totally get where they're coming from and like i said it's not like for dressing up i wouldn't say this is if you're over 40 maybe you you would like this fragrance but i wouldn't I will really suggest it for somebody you know older but i feel like it does have its own niche and you know i think a lot of younger guys are into colognes and you know want just a little something to spritz themselves up and i feel like this is a little bit it does something different and i definitely recommend trying it before you buy it but i can almost guarantee you there's a certain amount of people watching this video that really really do like this fragrance as well but again it's probably about a third of the people a third of the time but when you do wear this at the right time i think it will be very great and i do see it getting compliments so finally guys for the smell rating this is going to be completely based on what you think of fragrances by yourself i could see you somebody really really liking this one or really really disliking this one so i'm going to give it a 7.5 to an 8 to me i think somebody would like this more than an 8 and i think people would like this a lot less than a 7.5 so i'm kind of going in the middle likability again the same exact thing there's certain people who are going to really really like this fragrance there's certain times you're going to wear this and it's going to be very very sexy and very good but that definitely is not all the time and this is a fragrance that a lot of people have smelled and a lot of people did not like although i think it's a little bit above average it's not the greatest thing i've ever smelled but i really do enjoy it um so 7.5 to an 8 for likability i think that is fair i wrote down 7.5 to an 8 for longevity of projection but i'll probably go with the solid 7.5 and if you've been watching my recent videos um, sometimes a fragrance that has an average projection I would give a 6.5 to a 7 so this is a 7.5 it's really noticeable it's there but then it also you know if you're going into a, a place with a lot of smells or you have a lot of wind it isn't like overkill by any means but it's also not really that weak so I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 I recommend this for a specific kind of person I definitely recommend trying it out if you like those kind of in your face um, sexier youthful kind kind of fragrances a little bit dirty this fragrance could be for you um, if you're somebody who likes overly clean stuff overly mature stuff you know you're in your 40s and you have a great job making a lot of money probably not for you this really is like a love it or hate it style fragrance and I'm closer to loving it than hating it but I totally a hundred percent see where people would not like this one however I'd really do I think the diesel bad they have like an extreme version or an intense version and that version smelled a little bit more like orange to me um, if you guys want me to review that let me know also any other cheapy suggestions or designer suggestions let me know which fragrances i should pick up next we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers we are really really close to being there and i couldn't do without any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace there's a lot of fragrances that are is